Hi everyone, and welcome to another Stacklin Studio experience. So, I recently ran across a YouTuber by the name of Rags, and I gotta say, his videos are absolutely amazing. I don't care if everyone calls him a fag, if everyone calls him, you know, gay, or if people call him a furry. I don't care. I'm a furry myself. I want to talk to him directly so most of this stuff will be actually responding to some things in his videos and if i can remember what videos they are i'll link them down below now i am sorry that i had to put gameplay behind this and again this message is directly towards rags um i understand that you don't really like gameplay behind commentaries because they distract you from the actual message of the video um, but I do want to, I couldn't, I didn't want to record face cam because it just, I don't, I don't feel that that makes it any better. So, let's go ahead and start with a major point of where you always talk about how there is no choice if you go with a console rather than a PC, um, you're just settling. And my response to that is that America has been nullified, and our sense and sensibility to change and the ability to have options have been completely nullified over time. And in America, if you ask most people what they have to do in life, uh, most will reply with, live, pay taxes, and die. And I live with one of, I think, the most patriotic people in America, in, again, in my opinion, and that was her response when I said, you know, you have to go to work, you, and she said, no, the things that you have to do in life is be born, pay taxes, and die. That's all you have to do in America, which I know that's very just bold stating out there, um, but it kind of is true to most Americans. They don't care about choice. Um, and everything like that, because we've been nullified to choice. If we want something else, we'll go out and get another job, but most of us will just settle with that job because we're either too lazy or don't understand that there is something better out there for us. Most will spend our lives stuck at a McDonald's because we don't want to get anything better because that is what is suiting our needs, that's what's paying the bills. So why chance losing that job? Why chance losing that when you could easily just stick with it and not complain? Um, again, I completely agree with Rags that there there is an issue and that America has been dumbed down with little to no options, thus allowing us as a society to become arrogant and insensible. I understand that and I respect that Rags wants to bring this to the people, but it's just not going to change overnight, sadly. Another thing is um, that there's no special features of a console over um, a PC. While I would agree to that to some extent, the reason that I purchased things like Titanfall and Battlefield 1 and Call of Duty on my Xbox is because I can play on those consoles and I can share that library instantaneously with another person's Xbox through Xbox home sharing. And we both can play the games at the exact same time, unlike with Steam, where you can share games, but while they're pl like someone else is playing, say, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 on my Steam library, I can't access any of my games, which is horrible because I have so many games through Steam, and it's a centralized platform in a way, so I wouldn't be able to play half of my games that I have on my computer simply because someone else wanted to play Black Ops 3 on the computer. And don't even get me started on Origin and Uplay because they don't even have the option. Um, or at least that I remember. They could have updated it. So on the Xbox, that is a feature that is better and is more thought out. If Steam brought that to the, to the PC, I have no doubt in my mind that there would be no issues whatsoever with the PC, and no one would really have an excuse. Um, 
But uh, the next point that I want to make, and yes, Rags, I do have this on a list just so that I'm not rambling too much, um, but back to the list. Um, there are several elitists in the PC Master Race, and I hate to call you one, Rags, um, but you kind of are. You may not think lesser of people who don't play on PC, but you do feel them less informed, which maybe they are informed. Maybe they do know everything about a PC and what it can or cannot do, but maybe they just don't want to jump to the PC yet. Maybe they don't want to game on the PC because they just don't like the idea of it. Um, now, I'm not saying that's wrong for them not to like it or not to... Uh, have anything, have any questions about it. Asking questions is good. That That's what makes us a sensible human being, uh, is asking questions and making sure that we understand everything before making a jump. Just like today, I purchased a drone, and I don't know if I'm going to like it. It's not a DGI or DJI. Um, it's not a big name brand, um, but it has pretty good reviews. So I just made that jump, I just emptied my wallet of $300 simply because it looked good, and it has a couple good reviews. So I may end up regretting that decision. Just like some people, if they purchase a PC, they may end up regretting that decision and just end up using that four or $500, maybe even upwards to $1,000 computer just to watch YouTube videos. So if you under, if you put it into that perspective, you may understand that some people just don't want to purchase a computer that they may not want to game on or whatever. In addition to that, I do feel sorry for the people who don't understand that there that there really isn't a big difference between the PC and the consoles. How I say that, I mean that they're all gamers, and I'll get more into that in the next point. I understand that some people don't care and that they don't want to play on anything other than a console because their friends are on said console. Some people don't have the money to buy a PC and then rebuy all of the AAA titles that they already own on the console and that they want to play with their friends, and neither do their friends have that money. Because you're talking to people who are 15 or 16, or maybe even younger than that, and they don't have the money to go out and buy a $400, co a $400 console killer that may or may not have all the games that they want at the right resolutions, and their friends then have to go out and make the exact same purchase. Uh, so it's kind of a you know double-edged sword in a way. So, that's my opinion on that point, and if you make a rebuttal on this video, I would be happy to hear what you have to say about that. Next thing is, controls on the PC are better than a controller on a console, which I completely agree with to some extent. Some people can't memorize all of the controls. For example, I play Crisis on the PC, but... I use an Xbox One controller, or an X-Bone controller as I call them, uh, because the keyboard, all the shortcuts and everything, they're just too many. Because, you know, I'm, I, for video, I had to record, and I forgot to plug in my controller. So I had to figure out, like, what my armor key was, and I ended up making it worse on myself, just because it was more work and that I hadn't done that before. People should just care about people as gamers, not the PC master race, or console peasants, or not a gamer at all if they play on the phone. I honestly believe that as long as everyone is having fun, who cares? Share a story with your bud who only has an X-Bone, or talk to that grandma who only plays Zynga games on Facebook. Games aren't just a pastime, they are us. You and I may agree to disagree because we can, and that's okay, as long as we still remember why we started to game. Because it's fun. Okay, so I have, I believe, four pages, uh, no, three pages, on fanboys, and I'm gonna do my best to read and explain and not get lost. And this video I'll definitely have linked down below because it's easy to find. 
uh, because I actually reference it later in the notes. So, while they do define themselves, let me answer your questions and ask you to answer a few additional ones. What is the problem with gaming today? Companies are developing for a nation who has learned to settle and to be complacent. This refers to my first point of the video. In a sense, America, the greed, the complacency, and all of that can be attributed to the fact that in America, people don't care because we've been nullified. I understand where you're, uh, what you're trying to do, but it won't work. Just like how I want to make a video explaining how no one should vote in 2023 and in such make the rich electorals choose for themselves, one person cannot move mountains. As for a few questions to you, are you doing okay? Feeling okay? I hope you are. Uh, I really do, because you're awesome. Even if you are just a viewer watching, you're awesome. The most important one, though, is how are we supposed to trust reviews? I mean, I'm a self-entitled cum-looking jackass according to most of my comments, but I don't have the time to go through a few hundred pages of Steam reviews where each contradicts the other. Sure, I may watch the campaign cutscenes to understand and get a feel of the campaign if there is one, and if I want the game or not, but what if a review is wrong or influenced by money? For example, I have sunk my hessian fangs into reportedly the worst game since Arkham Knight for over 20 hours now on Steam. And if you don't know what game I'm talking about, it's Dishonored 2. I love the game, and I have no issue with frame rates, though the drama it has caused on my channel has led to a name change, disabled ratings, and me becoming a common Nazi. You say in your video titled, and linked again down below, Fanboys and the problem with gaming, that fanboys pre-ordering and the like is the cancer of which we need to fix. But how can people understand if they like a game just by reading reviews? Sometimes issues happen after the two hour return window on Steam. I pre-ordered Dishonored 2 because I wanted it. I liked what had been presented to me, but I knew that it would be different, and that was okay, because the world in black and white is dull as fuck. And I'm sure that you can agree, Rags, but I do have to say thank you so much if you did make it through this video, if you didn't stab your eyes balls out with, you know, a rusty spoon. And I hope that maybe this video got you thinking. I know it's kind of just an abrupt end, but I didn't want to go on and on and on because, you know, your videos are awesome. I did try to reach out to Rags to see if I could use uh, explicit clips from his videos so that I could uh, give viewers some context. However, uh, he did not reply to me on Twitter, and I do not want to break the fair use copyright law shit that's going on right now. Um, so I will just stick to talking into a microphone. So with that out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, again, if you did not end up stabbing your eyeballs out with a rusty spoon, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you dislike everything that I say, even though the, the ratings are disabled, I can see the ratings. So go ahead and give it a dislike if you don't like it. If you want to check out one of my latest streams, I'll have that linked in the card above. And if there is any questions that you may want to ask or any ideas that you want me to present, maybe in a second video... Uh, be sure to leave a comment down below. And if you're rags, I really want to do a rebuttal with you because I want to talk about this some more. I understand that we're both gamers and we both have, I would say, fairly open perspectives on the whole concept. And I really would just like to have a conversation with you, mano a mano. I don't, I don't think that would be too bad. Again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to stay loyal, stay subscribed, and I'll see you all next time. Yeah.